Boundaries. Do you have them? But first, what's up, beautiful people? This your favorite cousin, Rich. Back again. Hope today is awesome. Because if I do say so myself, I'm having an awesome day. Boundaries. Boundaries will save you. Do you have them? A lot of times when we end up in situations where somebody does us wrong, before we have our spiritual awakening, the reason why they did us wrong and the reason why we allowed these things to happen was because we didn't have these things called boundaries. You see, boundaries is what's going to save you from people abusing you, people misusing you, people being in your life longer than the expiration date. Every entity has boundaries. Businesses, religions, you know, everything important has boundaries. Why? Because they know that those boundaries is what's going to protect it. Like I said, look at yourself like a business. Businesses have, businesses have certain boundaries. Certain times they open, certain times they close, certain policies. Look at banks. They have certain boundaries. They have certain rules and regulations that you have to buy by if you want to be a part of their organization or a part of their bank. There's certain rules and regulations that you have to buy by if you want to, you know, for them to hold your money or if you want to withdraw money. Everybody has boundaries. A lot of times the reason why people choose us and stick with us, the ones who are manipulative or narcissists or, you know, sociopaths, psychopaths, all these crazy people. The reason why they're able to do these things, like I said, is because we don't have these boundaries. And the worst thing to do, the worst thing to be, which a lot of us chosen ones are before we have our awakening, is we're empathetic with little, little to no boundaries. That's the worst combination. Being an empathetic person and having low to no boundaries. A lot of times we weren't taught to have boundaries. A lot of times the reason why we're in these positions is because people from a young, since we were a younger age knew we were special. And they tried to block that. They tried to hide that. And they misused us. So we weren't even allowed to have boundaries. No boundaries. What is that? When you're growing up in an abusive household, what are boundaries? Boundaries is something foreign, like you speak in Mandarin, Chinese. You know, you don't get to have boundaries in certain situations. And as you grow up, you feel as if these boundaries that you didn't get to set when you were younger, you don't get to set now as you're older. Again, and that's how people manipulate you, misuse you, mistreat you in certain situations. Because you didn't have these proper boundaries. Boundaries is what will let you have longevity in life. And boundaries isn't for how others to treat you. No. Boundaries is what you will and won't accept. Behaviors that you will and won't accept. Point blank period. And if people cross these boundaries, if people don't respect these boundaries, guess what happens? You cut them off. You let them be. They didn't have enough respect for you and your boundaries. So why would you continue in a relationship with them? Why would you continue in an engagement with them? Why would you continue doing business with them? They didn't respect your boundaries. See, these boundaries is what you need in order for you to be energetically leveled, to keep your frequency high, to keep your mood high and happy, keep your vibe high and happy. You need these boundaries. So when people approach and cross these boundaries and not respect your boundaries, guess what happens? Your vibe starts to dwindle down. Your frequencies start to get all crazy. Instead of you being happy and prosperous and abundant, you start being in that lack mindset and all type of things. Why? Because people are crossing your boundaries. When you tell people don't call your phone after 9 o'clock or whatever the case may be, and they call your phone, now that disrupts your peace. Now that quiet time that you had set aside for yourself to meditate and get your mind right for the next day, somebody calling your phone. A lot of times calling your phone about what? Some bullshit. So now that threw off your whole night. So next time, what do you do? You don't pick up the phone. Or you tell them, hey, don't call me after nine. You know what I'm saying? You explicitly list your boundaries, tell them what they are, and say, hey, next time you cross these boundaries that I have set, about the time you call me or whatever, woo-woo-woo, 
I'm either A, not going to pick up the phone, or I'm going to B, think that you don't respect me and my boundaries. I'm no longer going to associate with you for a set time period until you learn how to respect my boundaries, until my absence is missed and is felt. And then you have the choice to say, I need this person back in my life and let me appreciate their boundaries. Or you say, to hell with them. Those are the options you give people when you have boundaries set up. People are going to respect you more when you have boundaries for yourself. When you don't have boundaries and you let everybody walk over you, when you, have, when you don't have boundaries and you just up for whatever and you don't stand for nothing, and you guess what happens? What do they say? You, stand, you don't stand for anything, you fall for anything. And that's true. If you don't stand up for something, if you don't stand up for yourself, if you don't stand up and say, this is what I believe in, you're not going to cross this, you're not going to do this, or else I'm out, people would do anything and everything to you. They're going to see you as a lick. And best believe, they're going to get you. And boundaries is what stops that from happening to you. Like I said, we've all been in positions where we didn't have boundaries. Sometimes we're a little bit more empathetic than we should be. Sometimes we care about people. We love people so much more so that we move these goalposts back with the boundaries or we don't have them set up until we end up being hurt. So let this be a warning to you, people who may not have boundaries or may be in a relationship with people pushing your boundaries. Don't let people push your boundaries. You give them an inch and these unrighteous people will take a mile. Trust me, if you, just like you respect people, you respect their boundaries, so you deserve it in return. Don't think that you don't deserve people to meet your boundaries and respect your boundaries. Don't think of yourself any less than. Stand on it. Stand on your boundaries. That's what you believe in. That's what's protecting you. That's what keeps you whole. That's what keeps you mentally sane. It's the bound, these boundaries. Especially for the empath and narcissist dynamic. What happens is you have too much empathy for the narcissist. You see past their flaws. You see past the hurt. You see past the over exaggerated ego. You see past the grandiosity. You see past all these things. You see where they were hurt. You see the pain. You see the trauma. You see it all. I know I can't when I see narcissists, especially when I sit down and talk with them. We have our little evaluation and shit. I'm able to see it. I'm like, oh, boom, 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 boom. There we go. But when we get hurt with the narcissist, and when the narcissist know they can get over on us, is when we don't have these boundaries. If this narcissist knows that they crossed this line with you, and you're going to pull back your energy, you're not going to fuck with them no more, you're going to call them out on it, guess what? They're not going to cross that line. I promise you. They are not going to cross that line. They're going to see you as somebody that they can't get over on, they're going to see you as somebody who respects themselves, they stick up for themselves, and they got boundaries, and they're not going to like that. But when a narcissist runs across somebody and they see that they can get over on them, that they can do anything with them at any time, they don't have no boundaries, guess what? A narcissist is going to love them. That's going to be grade A supply for them. They know they're going to get all their needs met by them. Because they know that this empath sees their hurt. They know that this empath cares about them more than they should. So they're going to take it full advantage of it and put you through the ringer. Side note, that empath and narcissist dynamic is too crazy. I want to write something on it, like a book or a thesis on it or something. And a lot of times that's what happens when narcissists get in a relationship with people is with the empath and that dynamic is one feels for the other and then one takes. But anyway... These boundaries, 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 boundaries. And the reason why I know about the narcissist empath dynamic is because I've been in one of those before. Where I was the empath and I was able to see and feel their pain where they were coming from. It's good. But because I didn't have the proper boundaries set up or my boundaries were not efficient enough or sufficient enough to protect me even more so, I ended up getting hurt. But not so much, like, to where it was hard to come back from, no. But I did get burnt. So, how you 
protect that or how you protect yourself in this aspect is you having these what boundaries pretty much pretty plain and simple but back to my dynamic with the narcissist that's where i was at adhd went somewhere i heard somebody playing a song that i like and my mind just went Phew. telling you that adhd too crazy but the dynamic with the empath me being the empath and the narcissist was because I saw and I felt and I was able to feel for them. So my boundaries were there, but I would let them bend. Or I moved them back a little bit, you know, in hopes that this person would A, appreciate me being there for them or me, appreciate me having that self-love for myself that I didn't, so it, it wasn't the fact that I didn't love myself, that's why I kept on hanging on to them. No, I wanted them to be better. I wanted them to see themselves as I saw them. You know, in the light that I saw them, not with the trauma, but the potential that they had. I wanted them to see themselves as I did. So it came to a point where I was I allowed it to bend. I allowed it to move in hopes that it would work out, in hopes that these people would be able to see, OK, let me get my shit together. But they don't. They end up burning but because I didn't end up getting burnt as bad as a lot of people did or could have been in these dynamics was because of what? Boundaries. Past a certain point, I say, I'm not with it no more. Past a certain point, you stop trying to be a martyr and save a relationship, save a dynamic, save a business, save anything that you're in. Past a certain point, you stop it. You don't move your boundaries anymore and you save yourself and you choose Remember, boundaries. I done said it 50 million times in this conversation, but I'm going to say it 50 million in one. Boundaries. Anyway, this is your favorite cousin. Hope y'all, I, I hope I can help somebody today. Y'all be safe. Love and blessings.